Baroque composers studied their craft in the school where they also taught the sciences. So they learned to compose music based on scientific principles where they felt they could connect you, the audience member, to the music of the spheres by these scientific methods so that the passions they felt, the composers felt, in their heart, they could make you, the audience, feel too. You can't experience a Handel opera and not become passionately involved with the drama and with the singing and the music. We humans are thrilled by excess and we are thrilled by range. And so Handel put the greatest singers in the most important roles. And to him, it wasn't really always important that it was a castrato singing. It was important that it was a great singer singing an important role. The wonderful thing is that now we have embraced the tradition of having women sing men's roles, as has long been the practice in music theater and in plays. And we have um, the wonderful Daryl Friedman, who's here singing Julius Caesar and has this wonderful, opulent voice. And it preserves Handel's original intention for this color of voice, showing Caesar's power, showing Caesar's intelligence. I feel Baroque music has kind of a bad reputation. I think people see in their mind people with white powdered wigs and frilly clothes and very, very uptight people sitting around not having any emotions. And this could not be further from the truth. Handel himself had a very fiery temperament and this is reflected in his music. So. This music is passionate, it is filled with emotions, almost all Baroque music is dance music. So my idea is to have us all, the entire audience, the orchestra and the cast dancing our way through Julius Caesar.